Hello, Craig Birch here from Seconds Out backstage here at the Leicester Arena where we have somebody not fighting for once, Bradley Skeet, the, Brit the British champ. Brad, how are you doing? You okay? I'm good, mate. Yeah, I'm good. Good, good. We're getting very noisy and boisterous yeah. backstage as always, but we'll just talk a little bit about uh, who have you come to support then, all your, all your fellow fighters. It's yeah. always too long to yeah. tell. My gym mate Daryl Williams is up here tonight fighting uh, Jermaine Smart for the English yes. title. Yes. So yeah, come up here to support him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously talking about you, you've got your uh, another title defense. You've got your mandatory challenger coming up, haven't you, Shane Singleton? Yeah, so. second of June. Uh, Shane Singleton, I like to say my mandatory. So um, yeah, training, training's going well for that. Yeah, um, six weeks to go now. Um, get get him out of the way, and then one more defense, and it's mine outright. Of course, of course. Well, this is obviously so important to make your mandatory defenses. Yeah. Tyrone Nurse is getting in the ring tonight for the Brit and can't win a Lonsdale belt even yeah. though he's got three defences. Yeah, so exactly, it's important yeah. to, you've got to make your mandatory defences, haven't exactly, you? Exactly, so, that's it, that's it. Okay, looking at the bigger picture as well, obviously you want to win the British title outright and yeah. so on. The obvious name that's going to come up is Sam Eggington, isn't it? You're the only man, well, you're one of the only man outside of a prize fighter situation to beat Sam as a pro. Yeah. He's, to, sort of, he's beat Gavin, he's beat Malinard, you know, he's got the European title shot. Is that a fight yeah. you're very much interested in doing again? I know you've sparred together since, haven't you? So. Yeah, we've sparred together since. Sam's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. If the fight happens again, I'm sure I'm I'm sure it'll build up and it'll and it be a good good rematch to have. But um, like I say, I'm doing my thing now, he's doing his thing. And uh, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, do you need Sam Eggington really? You know, it's, it's funny how it's worked, because you beat him. Yeah. But, all, you know, Sam suddenly escalated. Well, you know, you, I suppose you just rolled along with the British inside. Yeah, to be honest, like, I, I won the British from Sam. So Sam, if, if he still had the British, he'd be doing what I'm doing now, defending the British to try and win it outright. So yeah. uh, he would be in my position, he'd be defending the British to win it outright. He, he lost to me, so he's, he's gone another route and he's, and he's had some good wins since me. So so, uh, yeah, like I say, he's on his path, I'm on mine. If we meet, if our paths meet, they meet. If they don't, they don't. Of course, well, saying that though, if, you know, if he does win the European title, you're yeah. ranked, I believe, number two or three with the WBO. What's the chances? Yeah, you know, it could four. be a world title fight between yourselves. Exactly. It could happen, couldn't yeah. it? So. I'm, I'm number four with the WBO now and number four with the IBF, so I'm ranked in, in the top five with two world like governing bodies. So, yeah. uh, I'm sure if he keeps winning, I keep winning. Who knows? One day down the line, we could be in a massive fight. Yeah, you know, belt, you know, belts become vacant all the time, and exactly. that would be a massive, massive fight for you know for the, for the whole British public, wouldn't exactly, it? So yeah, definitely. Two Brits going to war and so on. Another Brits who holds a victory over yourself. Who I know he's got. He may have come down and wait now. Frankie Gavin, is that yeah. always something you wanted to avenge as well? Is it? Or? It's a defeat on my record, but like, it's, it's I'm past that now. To be honest, um, yeah, I, I think I, I've moved on from that now. And he's gone down away. Clearly, doesn't bother you <laughs> by the looks of it. You don't look bothered. Put no, it that way, so. It's a long time ago. <laughs> and it was a good learning fight. Uh, I feel off, uh, to this day I still feel I won the fight. It was a close fight, but I feel I've done enough to win. But there you go. It's, it's boxing. Yeah. You've gone on and look, look, I've gone on and beat Egger, and then Egger has gone on. To, to stop him, so that's, it's, it's boxing, isn't it? Do you believe you beat Sam Eggerton every day of the week? The same yeah, way that Frankie I, I believe any, anyone I get in the ring, I believe I'll beat him every day of the week. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. And I suppose the same, the same applies to Shane Singleton, doesn't it? So, <laughs> so obviously, you know, so the, the plan is Singleton. Is there anybody you've thought about your last about your Lonsdale belt fight? Or nah, so my, my main concern is Singleton at the minute. Um, that's my next fight, so that's what I'm training for. That's who's on my mind. Once I get him out of the way, then we move on and start picking who we're boxing next. Yeah, I guess knocking on the door of world title fights in, in next year is looking like it's in, in your future, Brad. Isn't it? Exactly. So, yeah. Start. Start. My main my main goal is to win this uh, British title out. Right. Once that's out of the way, then I can start thinking about dipping my feet in, in world level. Okay. Excellent. Fantastic. Cheers. Thanks for your time, Thank Brad. Enjoy the night's boxing. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.